once again we'll solve this problem so in the problem statement so there you are they are going to be given that there are four periods are there for that four periods there will be a capacity they have given as well as there is a demand for that particular four periods right so as well as in the problem statement they have given the initial inventories right before this period period one so initial inventory is how much available 20 available right so here if you see that capacity means how much available in the hand so they have given that from period one there is a regular time from regular time they are going to be producing the 60 quantity from over time they are producing 18 quantity from subcontracting time they are producing or they are buying thousand quantity so here regular time means in the company as usual in regular time they are producing the product over time means so each and every day they are going to be working for an 8 to 10 hours right so instead of 8 to 10 hours extra 2 hours they are going to be working there so from that they are producing the products so that is 18 subcontracting is nothing but from the outside sources they are going to be purchasing that product and they are going to be meeting the customers demand so here regular time ot subcontracting is clear like that in period 2 so if period 1 is over so in the next period 2 regular time cost or from the regular time there is a 50 quantity from over time 15 quantity subcontracting that is given as 1000 period 3 regular time 60 ot 18 subcontracting 1000 in period 4 regular time 65 over time 20 subcontracting 1000 right and what is the demand so below the you should have to write a demand so what is the demand for particular period 1 that is 100 period 2 50 period 3 70 period 4 105 so this 100 50 70 105 already given in the problem statement in the same manner they have given 20 60 1800 50 15000 this capacity also they have given right so here initial inventory for the first period right that is zero next if you don't have that initial inventories in the period first right that uh, initial inventory cost will be zero because on that first period only they, you are going to be producing the product and you are going to meeting the customer demand if that product is carried forward to the second period so then you are having two rupees extra cost per unit again if that is carried forward to through the third period it will be four rupees next it forward to the fourth period it's going to be the six rupees right like that if it continues to till end of those period the regular extra cost is going to be adding to the per unit because of other extra cost they are going to be adding towards that one so like that how much quantities are available inventory 20 quantity right so here from regular time okay how much rupees for per unit that will be 100 per unit so if this continues to second period 102 right so next if you continues 104 106 right here 60 units they are going to be producing from the regular time ot that is 125 will be there 127 129 131 okay so 18 units are produced using the ot subcontracting 130 rupees will be there so you keep it as it is or else you can continue 132 you write it 132 134 136 right 
so like that for all the period period 2 period 3 period 4 you should have to write it and here another column we have added here unused unused why we have added me because by adding this total available capacity it become 4326 by adding this capacity right but here by adding this demand 100 150 220 320 then 325 by adding this demand it become only 325 so here 325 is not equal to 4326 so we cannot solve this type of problems because capacity equal to demand if supply is not equal to capacity or capacity is not equal to demand first you should have to make these two equals so here what is the difference 4326 minus 325 it will become 4001 so here you should have to add a dummy column with respect to this formula if capacity is greater than demand add a dummy column so here capacity is greater because 4326 will be there demand is 325 so our capacity is greater than demand so we have added a unused or a dummy column right so if demand is greater than capacity that time you should have to add a dummy row here right so for that dummy row as well as dummy column the cost per unit will be zero right so here cost unit per is zero here we have added 50 because in the problem statement they have given that that is 50 percent of regular time cost so here 50 percent of this regular time 100 rupees 50 percent it will become 50 so wherever the regular time cost will be there so you should have to add 50 rupees in ot as well as in subcontracting you should have to add zero only because for that dummy row dummy column the cost per unit will be zero okay now it becomes square matrix you can say that or if supply equal to demand okay so now you should have to solve this one here there is a little bit tricky right so here you should have to meet the customer demand for period 1, period 2, period 3, period 4. How to meet? By using the capacities. So here if you see this, these are the capacity they have given. These are the demands. So you should have to meet these demand by using these values or these products. Right? So here before meeting the demand of this 100 rupees uh, sorry 100 product right so you should have to check that whether the initial inventory is available or not okay if initial inventories are available then you should have to consider that 20 or whichever number given in the problem so in this problem initial inventory is 20 right before starting this period already 20 units are available so in the period one how much quantities are needed 100 quantity right so here by using this 20 you can meet this 100 demand all 100 we cannot meet because only 20 are available so you scratch it 100 minus 20 80 remains so here also it will become 0 so if 0 in the row or in the column which becomes zero you should have to eliminate that row or a column here in this case the row becomes zero so that you should have to eliminate this row if column becomes zero you eliminate the column right so remaining is 80 so 80 how to meet this 80 demand so here period one we are having regular time over time subcontracting so which is the lesser cost here regular time because by comparing 100 125 130 
so here rupees 100 will be the lesser quantity so first we'll see to meet this 80 demand by using the regular time so from regular time how much quantities are available 60 so again we cannot meet this 80 demand so only 60 can be meet so 60 becomes 0 here how much remaining 20 units remaining so here you should have to add 60 here you should have to add a 20 right so next the remaining is 20 so by using this over time how many quantities are available only 18 so use those 18 here it will become 0 here the remaining is 2 quantities next another by using subcontracting you can use only 2 quantities right here 998 will remain so that you will add in the unused quantity so here now it becomes zero this is clear next you should go to second period the same procedure what will be the demand for that period two there is a 50 units from regular time will consider because initial inventory means previous period uh, quantities are not available so directly we will go to the period to regular time pro, uh, quantities so here how much 50 so directly this 50 can be meet with this 50 so here you should have to add 50 okay then this over time as well as subcontracting cost units remains same so you keep as it is because if you keep as it is it will become the inventory for the next upcoming periods so these can be utilized may be utilized in the upcoming periods so we'll take the third period right so period 3 again here from the regular time cost how much available 60 the demand is 70 so here from this 60 you can meet this demand remaining is 10 so you add it here 60 right next this remaining 10 can be meet with the overtime cost so here 10 can be means how much available in the uh, overtime 18 available so you scratch 18 so remaining is 8 here 10 can be meet so here you write it as a 10 again here you keep this 8 as it is because this can be utilized in the next periods as a inventory you go to period 4 again here the from the regular time you are going to be producing 65 the requirement is 105 so 105 minus 65 so it will become 40 so you write it as a 65 so from this rt we cannot meet the demand so we'll go to ot so ot how much quantities are available 20 but the required is 40 so 20 minus 40 become 20 so here you should have to add 20 so here again you should have to meet that 20 demand remain at a 20 demand so we cannot use that 20 directly to the subcontracting because from the subcontracting per unit per cost uh, will be 135 rupees so here if you see that if any overtime costs are available in previous two periods first you utilize those two overtime period cost to meet this demand then you can use the subcontracting because if you see over here in the fourth period from this previous period 8 units are available with cost of 127 per unit but here if you use 135 the cost will be higher next here also there is remaining 15 units right so here what is the cost per unit 129 so when compare with this 135 127 as well as 129 are lesser so first utilize those quantities to meet the customer demand 
because we can reduce the cost of that particular product right so here so in previous period 127 so how much available 8 so utilize those 8 right so 20 minus 8 it will become 12 so you write it 8 as here next 12 so in previous second period we are having 15 available so we need only 12 quantities so remaining again 3 12 minus 12 become 0 so in the capacity whichever the units are remained so that units you can add it in the unused quantities so here 998 is available so you add it over here 3 available add it here okay so because if you add this one it will become 0 right so by multiplying these values so you consider this tabular column 20 into 0 16 to 100 18 into 125 2 into 130 15 to 100 12 into 129 16 to 100 10 into 125 8 into 127 65 into 100 20 into 135 125 so by putting like this you will get the total cost for that particular aggregate planning problems right this is clear all of you understood Do you have any problem in this one? You should have to practice twice or a thrice or else more than that also if you have to solve then only you are going to be understanding the problem otherwise it will be little bit very difficult for you to understand this one. By seeing this tabular column it looks like very easiest but when you solve the problem then you will face the difficulties so try to solve more number of times the same problem then you can solve the other problems once if you have understood the steps or a procedure how to solve that one then it would be easier for you people right is that clear